first at 5.30, frustration is growing for some victims of the station nightclub fire. They're wondering why it's taking so long to see their settlement. One survivor we spoke with says she needs the money to make ends meet. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us live with our top local story. After another holdup in the settlement process, station nightclub victims want the public to know they're not millionaires and are actually in dire straits. Linda Fisher shows off her sleeveless wedding dress as she anxiously awaits her big day. The station nightclub survivor is also anxious about her settlement, which has been delayed yet again. I understand that you know all the I's need to be dotted and the T's crossed, but this is almost seven years now. I mean, the people that are partially responsible for doing this to us have been punished and released and set on their way, and, and we're still hanging in limbo. Six and a half years after the fire, victims like Fisher are shocked that they are still waiting for the money. Many of them are struggling to pay the bills and even taking loans out against their settlement money just to get by. I mean, this is the perfect time to buy a home, which a handful of us would be able to go out and do that with the money we're getting. We can't do that. We're living in rented apartments, we're living in parents' basements. Dozens of fire victims have filed for bankruptcy in recent months. They've been told the delay in payment is the result of a thorough payout process. Fisher believes they've had enough time and now just wants closure. You know, and come February, when I call my attorney again and say, hey, it's February, do I have a check yet? I honestly don't think I'll have one. Now, Fisher says she's excited for the wedding, but wasn't able to plan a honeymoon due to finances. Another meeting on the settlement is scheduled for August. We tried reaching out to the court-appointed attorney to the settlement, but he hasn't called us back. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.